What's up everybody? Today is August the 12th, 2022 and Shadwick King's verdict has come back. He has been found guilty for a second time in the murder of his wife. This is from the dailyherald.com and is linked in the description below. The headline states a Geneva man convicted for a second time in the 2014 murder of his wife. The judge ruled Friday that Shadwick King, who is 55 years old, strangled his wife Kathleen King in 2014 and disposed of her body by putting it on nearby railroad tracks. He was convicted originally in 2015 by a jury, but the conviction was overturned on appeal in 2018 and a new trial was ordered. He chose to have a bench trial the second time around. Prosecutors allege that King was upset by a relationship that Kathleen, who was 32 at the time, was having via text messages and social media with another man. The prosecutors alleged that King strangled Kathleen at their home and then dressed her in jogging clothes and took her body to the railroad tracks where he left it. Shadwick King testified that Kathleen had gone the night before to her father's house for a family dinner. He said Kathleen drank about one and a half bottles of wine while they were there. She then had several more glasses of wine and four shots of whiskey at a Geneva bar they went to later. That's according to Shadwick King. His attorney, who's Kathleen Zellner, stated that the Geneva police and firefighters were wrong when they decided that Kathleen King was dead and should have tried to resuscitate her. She also argued that Kathleen died of a heart arrhythmia, not strangulation. The arrhythmia could have been caused by an electrolyte imbalance brought on by drinking and jogging. Kathleen Zellner argued that Kathleen had a blood alcohol content of 0.15% at the time of her death, twice the legal standard for intoxication. What do you think? Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys again soon.